Hey there, buddy. Hello, and welcome to Relax Mail. All right. You are tired of having a scarcity mindset. You want to start changing over to, and get an abundant mindset. You want to have an aside, uh, uh, a mindset that is abundant and full of opportunities. Well, to do that, we're going to get you started today with the, on how to actually change my scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset. <laughs> Okay, abundant mindsets. We know that they're they're the better mindset to have. It's more fulfilling. It's more uh, you're going to have a lot more because you're given more. Um, so how do you actually get an abundant mindset? Well, the way you get you have to start paying attention is the big thing. Um, seeing what you say, seeing how you react to stuff. Are you acting very negatively? When something, when somebody gets something that you don't have, so it, like uh, they get a car and you've been wanting a new car, and you're saying, "Well, that must be nice." That's a scarcity mindset. You want to make sure that you start kind of changing those, those lines of thinking, so that you're not, you don't have to, you're not wishing that you had something you don't have. Instead of th thinking about what you don't have, start thinking about what you do. To do that, though, to do that, though, you want to make sure that you actually have. Um, the right mindset in place and that's what we're going to talk about today so real quick uh, we'll go blast through these just as quick as you, uh, quick as we can for you so first off you have to realize there are always opportunities now that you can if you run into a wall and you're like oh my gosh I'm not ever going to get through this I'm not is that blocking statement I've talked like I said before uh, there are certain you get you tell yourself things to make yourself feel comfortable so if you can uh, if you can accept the fact that you're going to get uncomfortable, and that you're going to be doing things that are uh, far from uh, far from being being uh, comfort oriented, uh, you're going to you're not going to have a problem with uh, with something that's going to be a little new. Look at all the different opportunities though. So if you if you have a uh, hit that uh, proverbial brick wall start looking how many different exits are there actually inside this room that you're trapped in and count the not just the doors as an exit but you know look at uh, you want to look at at, at uh, windows and air shafts and is there a, is there a, a floor vent you know is there how many places can you get out of that's there's all these different opportunities there's always an opportunity what is the wall made out of you know you may have to make your own exit to, but to do that, you have to be able to take the time to actually look around and assess the current situation. What is that? What are you in? Because it's not a permanent fixture. Uh, people with abundance mindsets don't look at the uh, don't look at, a, at, a, at an event as being permanent. There are always um, a person with an abundant mindset also sees that uh, there are plenty of resources around. So. If you are worried about somebody running off with your uh, with your prize idea, okay. Guess what? Even if he does take it and he profits from that idea, you can still profit from your own idea. Why? Because there are seven billion people in the world, and you are not limited to just your town. I've mentioned that before. That you know, there's a there's. To worry about your competition is such a very, uh, horrible way to approach stuff. You could actually do better if you were to take your "quote unquote" competition and bring them into the fold. Go, hey, dude, let's do something together. Let's let's riff off of each other. You know, let's uh, let, we can make uh, we can have all sorts of uh, you know you can make a, 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 a some type of campaign where you and them we swap ideas. Uh, take. Uh, podcasters there are podcasters who make podcasts about podcasts very meta I know but still they will actually have other podcasts uh, uh, hosts who do podcasts about podcasting on their show they both both may have may have a, uh, a product that they sell that is very similar like 
you have one guy who sells a class on how to make your do your own podcast in 10 days and this other guy may have a class that does on how to do podcasting in two weeks but they share the information they swap around and so doing so allows for an intermingling of audiences they realize a lot of times they realize that hey, yeah this, I've got audience members who may like him they may like him better than me and if that's the case good because the overall picture is that you've got somebody who's actually into podcasting you just you want somebody who starts podcasting to start podcasting with with a passion and if it, somebody if you're if you're not able to do it but somebody else is thumbs up awesome let's uh, there that's a win for you and for them and that's what your overall goal is start looking at problems as a challenge think of it like a uh, a bo uh, a boss uh, round on a, in a video game. All right. First time you come up against that boss, do you beat them? Eh, sometimes, if it's a low-level boss, there's a chance. If it's a high-level boss, eh, maybe not. Maybe it takes you 13, 14, or in my case, 37 different tries. But every time you do, you learn. It's like, oh, hey, wait a minute. This is how you do it. You got to get in there, and you got to you got to hit them real fast, and then you got to jump back before he makes that weird sound. And then you jump back in there, and you hit him again, and then you got to jump back, and you start learning that there's different levels, uh, and different ways, and different m tactics to to uh, approach a uh, uh, a problem. So problems are nothing more than a challenge. That's life going. Hey, can you get this taken care of? And if so, then awesome, you win. You've, congratulations, you have now gone up to a new level and you now learn to appreciate a different aspect of your success. Now, if you want to be able to start developing an abundant mindset, a good way is to actually start meditating. I know, I know, I know, I know. You, you're like, oh, dude, really, you're a meditator? Well, yeah, I am a meditator to a point. I don't meditate every day. I don't meditate every week. I don't. Even, I'm very random in my meditation, but I do sit down and I do get a uh, try to quiet my mind from time to time. Whenever I feel that I need to have that uh, that time, I need to step back, take a deep breath, and and refocus. Um, <clears throat> if there's a problem that I'm coming across that is just you know just not making itself apparent I can I'll sit down and I will just quiet my mind for 10 15 minutes and I will once I get finished I actually I go for a walk and when in doing so a lot of times all of a sudden my brain jumps onto the right track and I'm I come up with a couple of ideas that might actually work another way is people who have an abundant mindset are always grateful and I recommend if you are wanting to if you are having trouble first thing you should start doing is actually this I don't, don't know why I'm putting it so far down the list this should be number one make a gratitude journal every day you write down five things what you're grateful for um, and challenge yourself you can only use your wife once a week uh, the food that you eat can only be done once a week. You have to come up with, I'm, I'm grateful this rock is here because if it wasn't, it, would be, it, might, uh, uh, it wouldn't be, give me a chance to be able to set, the, uh, uh, set my, this tripod up in the right spot. You, I'm grateful for uh, the, these uh, two live oak trees that I'm, I'm standing underneath because if not, I would be standing in, uh, in the sun and I'd be a lot more sweaty than what I am right now. You know, there's, uh, you've got opportunity and gratitude everywhere. If you just stop and start act, uh, approaching stuff with uh, with mind of gratitude, with a heart of gratitude, change that attitude to gratitude and see what your, how your attitude changes right off the bat from there. Because, oh my gosh, that is just the biggest heart opener you ever come across you want to be able to have a giving mind you want to start being able to be joyous about stuff get a, a, a get a gratitude journal start writing in I am grateful for this and this and this and this and this and here's the reasons why so do that if you want to have a a, a, a gratitude uh, want to have an abundant mindset start with gratitude be grateful for anything and everything around 
I am grateful for that comp competitor that came in and took that customer because he was driving me up the wall. Now, you can be grateful for so much if you just stop and approach things in a positive mindset. I understand, like I said, that every problem is a challenge, but every challenge is a good thing. You need to be challenged. You need to be pushed and stressed a bit. People who don't uh, don't get uh, or are not stressed don't grow. How do you get big muscles? Well, you have to sit there. You have to do workouts, and you have to do you know you have to do lifts and push-ups and 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 pull heavy items and lift heavy items and, and grunt and groan and and make weird noises and faces as you're doing it. Because what happens is as you are working that muscle, you're breaking the muscle fibers down. You break those muscle fibers down, your body overcompensates after that. It's like, all right, well, we broke down 25% of the uh, muscle, so we need to go on ahead and replace it with 30% more muscle. So, you know, you've got, you get back up to the 25, so you're at 125% now. You know, it, it's, you're getting a little bit stronger every time. And the reason that you get stronger every time you finish doing that is because, uh, your body realizes that hey, if it's going to be if it's going to be subjected to that, it needs to have a little bit more muscle. So stress and and the and the the effort of stress makes that makes problem increases the problem every time. So making a uh, so stress in your body causes you to overcome that challenge. That challenge of lifting that barbell up for ten times in a row uh, is allows your body to become stronger. If you see a problem, greet it as a challenge. And that challenge is good for you. That you want that challenge to become uh, to come at you because when it does, you're going to get better at whatever it is you're wanting to do. As I said uh, on the last last week's uh, video, listen to your words. Are you saying that you can't do something? That it's not possible to do something. I don't know why. I I can't those are all those types of words are limiting words they're, they're blocking statements and they that keeps you in that scarcity mindset get yourself out of that scarcity mindset allow yourself to grow and to become a a stronger person by getting the by understanding that you are what you're what you say you are if you're if you are telling yourself that you are too dumb to know how to do this. I can't figure out how to 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 to. I don't know. You don't know how to how to do art or whatever. Well, that's the only reason why you can't, you don't know how to do art is because you don't do the art. I am needing to get better at, at uh, drawing. Well, the only way you're going to get better at drawing is. And the only way I'm going to get better at drawing is if I actually grab a piece of paper and a pencil and I start trying to draw a circle. Eventually, I will have something that resembles a circle that I can actually then fill in to make it look like a ball. But I can't if I don't if I don't have you know if I don't try. Another way that you can get rid of your abundant mindset is to actually set goals. Because even if you don't accomplish those goals, you're going to apply. You're going to try to get to that goal. And as long as you try to get to that goal, you're at least going to get better at something. I've got the goal of camping six times. Well, that you know what? So far, I haven't made uh, achieved that goal. But I've been out camping three times now. And if I hadn't set that goal, those three times probably wouldn't have happened. Or it may have been I camped once because I had a tent last year and I didn't go camping at all because I didn't have a goal to go camping. But now that I've got the goal, I've gotten, I'm down three. I only need three more, and I've achieved my my goal. And from there, hopefully, I'll go camping a couple, few more times. So there's a few more places over in Oklahoma I'd like to go camping. I made the camp here, and it was, it was quite nice. It was uh, very, uh, very entertaining, and uh, and uh, because I got to see a turkey in the morning, and you know, there was things that I, because I accomplished that goal, I got to experience things. So get yourself out there. Get set the goals. Try to think of a goal. Start out with you know, uh, something that is just out of your reach, and then try three, uh, two others. One that's a little further out of your reach, and one, you know, one bag goal, you know, a big, hairy, audacious goal. You want to try to get that something that you know. You, good chance you're not going to make it, but you know you might, because it's going to show you that hey, I can at least make a make a. Uh, I've made steps to uh, to that uh, to that 
to that goal. I'm going to get that goal taken care of. I'm going to I'm going to get it eventually. Didn't this time? It's going to be on the goal set next year, and so we're going to get it. Another way is to think like a beginner. How was it when you first found something that you were kind of uh, passionate about? You just had a bud, burdening, uh, burgeoning uh, uh, passion about something. You started asking a lot of questions. You started learning. That is one thing a uh, person with a growth mindset and an abundant mindset both have in common. You realize you are going to always be learning. You never stop learning. Learning is uh, crucial for you to become a better person. So approach anything new as if you're a beginner and this is the most awesome thing in the world. Which gets kind of tough because you know, I really don't care about learning how to, to repair cars, but it's uh, if I want to if I want to have an abundant mindset, I probably want to start approaching it and, and try to learn everything I possibly can about how to repair a car. And so you would start asking, thinking like a beginner. Ask questions. Well, we're going to set our, our nuts and bolts here. Well, why are you setting them over there and not over there? Because that's where my right, left hand is and that's easier for me to grab. You know, there's going to, always going to be an answer to some when you're learning something. There's a reason why somebody does something. And those are little clues as to why you that you will actually pick up and you will actually learn and become a better uh, better leader and a better, uh, more abundant-minded person. And then finally, look for the wins. Get a positive, you, with, a, with, a, with your gratitude journal, you're also going to end up, uh, it's going to become a lot easier, but look for the wins. Have I, have I uh, did I complete my camping goal whenever I went camping out here? No, but I did see a turkey in the morning and I got to listen to, to uh, water flow all night long and I got to uh, see some stars. I got to see it, even a falling star. It was really, really cool. I was actually able to see. I had experiences just from a simple camping and I did, it wasn't even a full out, all out camp. I didn't build a campfire or anything like that. I just, it was just a little simple camping trip where I got to sleep outside. That from, in my book, qualifies as camping. Um, but because of that, I had several wins you can any type of experience but especially when you come across something like you're driving down the road and you have a blowout it's easy to go well why is this uh, got to happen to me well all right sweet i got to stop on the side i get to spend a little more time in texas you know things like that you get to, there's always a win in something you just have to make sure you look on the right side and on the bright side of uh, of the uh of the problem yeah it may not be the funnest thing in the world but there's always a win right there so, all right, folks, that's about all I'm going to be able to cover right now. I'm sure you're getting tired of me yammering. So, anyhow, you take care. Love y'all lots. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you like the uh, if you uh, like the channel, click subscribe. And if you uh, really, really, really like the uh, the channel, then go ahead and click that notification bell icon, and uh, you'll get notice uh, notification every time I happen to put up a new video, which is typically around Friday. So, anyhow, folks, y'all take care. Love you lots. See you next week.